Wow. This is Andrian, not Andrea, not Adriana, not Andriana, and definitely not Adrian. <laughs> Common mistakes. I get a lot of questions from girls like me um, about hormones. Um, and I noticed that the questions are all the same. I like to put them all together in one video and answer it. But before that, I hope you guys are having a great day and you are all doing good. So let's go ahead and go to question number one. At the moment, I'm using Diane 35. Diane 35. Um, is it really right? Diane 35. It contains cyproterone acetate and ethanol estradiol. Um, I think it's banned in some other countries. Um, it looks like this. Yellow pills. I take two pills a day the follow-up question when they ask me what hormones I use what effects do I get from it please um, be reminded that I am NOT a doctor I'm going to talk about these things based on my own experience and my own knowledge and my own research I did not study any medical field or course or anything like that so these are all based on my own experience so yeah just a disclaimer right so what effects do I get from taking Diane 35 first of all apart from having finer skin um, it slows down the hair growth and I gain a little weight when I take Diane 35 All right, there is no such hormones that could help you gain weight or lose weight, right? It varies from person to person, the effect um, varies from person to person. You know, it always depends on your lifestyle, your body, the effects of hormones to somebody or like myself will not always be the same as yours. Right, um, some of you are asking me if this is my natural voice. Um, I would say this is my natural speaking voice now. Um, sometimes when I get mad, it goes really deep and it depends on my mood if I'm really tired. It goes like a bit deeper, but then I really have a deeper, I actually have a deep voice, but I don't use that. Of course, I don't. Um, some people find my voice right now very annoying, but I think it's better to use this voice than this voice. I mean, I think it would be probably inappropriate to talk in this voice looking like this. Girl, if you were annoyed with my feminine voice, I'm sorry, you should stop watching the video, but I wouldn't talk like this forever because you're annoyed with my feminine voice mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly for you to start modulating your voice get a book or any magazine or any reading material i would suggest you should start reading a certain paragraph in the highest pitch you can read it if it makes you not really comfortable then that's not the right peach and then try to lower the peach you know and then once you get comfortable with the peach you can definitely do it higher i actually suggest that um those with very like deep voice like some of you are kind of 
I'm sorry, some of you are kind of hopeless that they are like so big voice. I would say you should speak softly instead. If you're not comfortable speaking a high pitch, um, you should speak softly. So let's say, for example, for example, for example, this is your voice. I would say that you should speak softer as much as possible because um, if you speak a little bit louder, it would really sound masculine. So always remember that there are a lot of women who are, who has, or who have rather, oh my God, my grammar is just not that good. <laughs> um, there are a lot of women who have deep voice, like, for example, Mariah Carey. Her speaking voice is very low, if you would notice. It's more for everyone, and it's more like um, we all kind of try so hard to compete with. You know, if you can research celebrities or women who has deeper voice, um, then you should be inspired because not all women have high pitched voice. So I hope this makes sense. Instead of speaking louder or in speaking of trying hard to speak in this tone, which will sound awkward. So instead, you would talk softly if you have a deeper voice, which I think would sound very sexy. If you think my deeper voice sounds very sexy like this, then, oh honey, it'll work. <laughs> so I hope the house a bit. Well, I suggest or based on my own experience, what hormones can burn muscles? Almost all hormones can burn muscles. When I say hormones, it's HRT, so hormones, it's a, oh my God, I lost it. When I said hormones, it has to be a combo. When I say combo, it has to be estrogen and anti-androgen. Um, anti-androgen helps, um, you know, of course, it helps stop producing or slows down the uh oh my god what's the word the production of of sperm oh my god or male sperm <laughs> male hormones oh my god what have i been doing i'm actually kind of hungry so um it helps um slows down the production of uh, male hormones and of course the female hormones or the estrogen will kick in and that would actually one of the effects of hormones to burn muscles as you burn muscles um you would get finer skin it all comes you know all together another question how long you would notice the effects um as soon as three months to six months to one year, you would see difference on your skin, on your body, as long as you're consistent, okay? As long as you're consistent with your hormones and your lifestyle is healthy. So, yeah. Oui, oui. <laughs> um, okay. You know, you got you guys, Probably some of you follow me on social media and you see me posting, you know, swimsuit photos, beach photos, um, OOTDs, I wear tight clothes, um, swimsuits and stuff like that. And yeah, some of you are curious how I talk. Um, it's really hard to answer, but the secret on daily talking is Okay, I'm actually planning to do it on a separate video, but I'm going to tell you, I actually use 
the smallest size of underwear to talk it. <laughs> Gosh, I feel awkward talking about it, but if this would help, then I I should talk about it. Um, I use I use extra small or extra extra small um, size of underwear to talk. Okay, um, I'm going to show you. I'm wearing. I'm wearing bodycon dress right now, but I'm going to show you how it looks like. Sorry. Sorry. It's all crumpled. So I'm wearing, I'm wearing a very tight underwear right now, as you can see. Um, yeah. Oh my god, my bum. Okay, this... Uh, no, okay. Look, see how tight it is. So it would really, really not show on front so but you could see how tight it is huh. I hope I answer the question <laughs> okay this question most of the time I get from men from the internet and not only from the internet, but in person. How does it feel like to be on hormones? When I say, how does it feel like to be on hormones? Their question is, it relates to, you know, sex. You've been taking your hormones consistently. It doesn't feel like, it, you know, you wouldn't feel the need to, to ejaculate or to masturbate. Um, I used to masturbate every day. I used to masturbate every day. I'm just kidding. Just for example, let's say I used to masturbate every day. But now I don't masturbate at all because the hormones makes my libido really really low or my sex drive really really low but it doesn't mean that we don't get aroused anymore if we try to do it or if we do it with someone we will feel it basically unless you trigger hmm. i hope i have answered all the question and simplest way possible and I hope it helped you guys to at least know um, you know have clear understanding about about these questions since I get a lot of questions like this I would make part two of this video part three part four or even ten parts of this video just to answer the questions in the most enjoyable way possible <laughs> but i hope you really enjoy watching this video i hope you have learned something that what is important that you have learned something out from it um please subscribe thumbs up if you have questions put it down below i will answer that um in the comment section and today i'm going to remove my makeup now because it's like honey it's 5 a.m. in the morning um yeah so thank you thank you for watching the video i love you guys please i'm everywhere good night good morning <laughs>